buddies, it's your girl at Christina. Today we're checking out Steven Universe season one, episode 43, Maximum Capacity. Let's see what's in store. We have been getting some character development from our dear little Steven and some growth. And I'm interested in the continuation of his journey. Links down below to become a member or patron to support the channel and get the uncut reaction to the show, along with many others. And yeah, let's get started. There we go. Hello. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Right, you want to throw that away. What? I bet she's going to burn them. Oh, hilarious. Hilarious. For a thousand years. Yeah, I think you'll like this one and this one. And, uh, oh, what? Oh. Save this one for when you're a little old. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Good. Hide that. <laughs> you bought what? this? Uh, I guess I don't need these old dumbbells. Hilarious. Look at her. Right. Amethyst is not the one to have for this. Okay. Oh, he's so cute. Is he a Benjamin Button disease? Patrick Crossdale, Kelly Darling, Catherine Scott, Scotterson McNeil. Do you see these names? Dirt Bike the Dog. Well, I never. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that made me want to laugh. Amethyst, let them get to work. They're not gonna show up. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Amethyst has some thoughts. I want to know what they are. Look at, look at her. Look at. They're so cute. Look at Garnet. Okay. Aw. They're not coming. Gosh. So why did they stop? What made them stop? And maybe this is the only way that they can... Yeah. For Rose, oh. is there a way that they can? Right, Amethyst. Right. What? Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What are you two doing? What well, yeah. Yeah, uh thank you. Turn that thing off. We need okay, some answers. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Pearl. Hello, Greg. Nice of you to join us. Yes. Thank you. So sorry about the mess. Was this your thing? Well, it was Amethyst's idea. Oh, okay. Okay. I I just thought we could take all this stuff back to the temple. He can get in my room. That way you don't have to throw anything away. What, oh. What do you think he does? Oh. So it seems like she was jealous. Oh, thank you, Amethyst. Oh. Amethyst. Zingy episode, okay? Zingy. It wasn't spicy, but it was zingy, okay? Um, here we have a situation where something going on. Something is going on with her. And it feels like 
And I really hope we get more information because this show has a has a habit I've seen so far of nodding into something where you're just like, hold on, and then snatching away and turning it to something else where it's like, whoa, wait, what? Hold, what about what about that? What what are we what are we doing over here? Um, so with the situation with with Steven uh, or with the mom thing, right? Um, it looks like Amethyst used to hang out with the dad first, but then he started hanging out with Rose Quartz and fell in love with her and they had a baby. Um, so it feels like Amethyst, you know, enjoyed their time together. I, I don't necessarily feel at this moment that she was like in love with him, but she did blush at the end. So maybe, but it just felt more like friendship. It felt like a deep friendship where she was chilling, watching, excuse me, these movies and stuff like that. They had a really, really good friendship. And then he started dating Rose Quartz and they didn't really see each other anymore. And it, you know, messed up their friendship. Um, yeah, that's what I get. Um, but like her in that split moment, and that's the other thing that I, I hope the show does not continue this because it, it really skips over an opportunity to really dig into certain things here. Like with the aspect of instead of explaining what was happening there, she bounces off. They like, and she tells the gems, let's clean out the place. And she decides she's going to keep everything and left him with a little box of a couple things. Right. And we, we're not talking about how Steven really feels, which that is something I wish this episode did. The fact that he had said, yeah. And yes, he's talking in, 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 um, what's the word metaphors metaphorically, you know, talking about cleaning up and letting go of the past. Right. But I want him to lean into how he feels. How does he feel about seeing her like stop him, stop his father from spending time with him in a selfish way for her to spend time with him? And then on top of that, throw back in a jealous anecdote that she feels about Stephen's mother. And then on top of that, to make to 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 shape shift into Stephen's mother which seems to traumatize the father. Like, it's one thing he was feeling unsettled by her shape-shifting, but when he knew that she was going to do shape to shape shift into the mother, which apparently is something she's done before, and he said, I can't let you do that to me again, what? Theory. I wonder if she shape-shifted into Rose Quartz and they had a romantic night. And he feels a sense of guilt, maybe shame and hurt from that. And she's still upset because maybe she was in love with him. Maybe Amethyst was in love with him. But I, I feel like that it seemed like his dad was traumatized by her shape-shifting and she's done it before. Shape-shifting into the mom specifically. And she's done it before. And oof, that was a nugget of something I, I really wanted to dig into and dive into. So I hope that as we progress in this show and as the show seems to be digging, it seems to be digging more. We've grounded our characters. Now we're digging into them. And as we continue to dig, I hope that we get like lean into the answers and the feelings of these characters versus just, Oh, it's getting good. You're leaning in. And then they just like, Oh, change the channel, you know? So let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. What do you, what are, well, I don't want to say what are your theories because I'm sure you know the answer. You guys have definitely probably watched this show before, but how do you feel about this episode? Tell me that. How do you feel about this episode? How do you feel that Steven feels in this episode? How do you feel, and do this without giving any spoilers, but how do you think the father feels in this episode? I want you to think, tell me, how do you think Amethyst feels in this episode? Tell me down below. Don't forget links down below to become a member or patron to support the channel. And I love you guys as always. And until next time, buddies. Toodles.